there is no way in the short time we have on this television <clears throat> show to, to tell you all of the bizarre things that are in this book. Oh, there's some goodies in there. But I do want to talk a little bit about Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Oh, my goodness. And the mob. You felt, well, I read where your manager <coughs> felt the only way to control you was to give you cocaine. Probably so. Uh, he could, uh, he knew I would come back and and uh, he could control me that way. I'm, I'm sure he might have had that in mind, yeah. Somehow you fell in with the mob, or your manager your manager fell in with the mob. A lot of this, um, uh, Nancy found out, and, and which I and I did too there after I started knowing what was really going on, but it, right at first when I went to staying there and, and being managed out of there, I didn't know that they were actually in, into that stuff. I was still getting my source uh, from here, okay. uh, but uh, come to find out, uh, which Nancy found out long before I did, that uh, these people that were right around me, working with me, uh, all at the same time, was uh, selling the fire out of that stuff, you know. They didn't and people were getting killed all around there, you know. They didn't want Nancy to have control of you. They right. Trying to cut her out of your life. Right. So they could control you. Didn't they put a life insurance policy and buy one? On your life? Yeah, they, they, uh, they had me go get a physical, and uh, uh, like I could pass anything like that at that time. Uh, <laughs> I mean, straight a couple of days, though, I'd get that me in there, and I took a physical, and, and uh, I know that they, from what I understand, which I hate to mention uh, things like that on TV, but... Uh, you don't want to think that doctors and people like that get involved with these type of people, but, you know, it's all over the world, and it does happen. And uh, they can get you a, uh, uh, an insurance policy of uh, the right, through the right channels. And uh, Do you think that they took out this policy on your life with the idea of killing you and collecting the money. No, I, I think they really thought that I was eventually going to die or kill myself. Uh, either, by, either by car, or, you know, and uh, or just die. Because I was, I'd already got down to about 105 pounds, I think. In fact, uh, when I went in, after I was in a while in the hospital, the doctor had a talk with me and told me that, he said, George, I'm not lying to you at all. Uh, you couldn't have made it two more months. He said you wouldn't have lasted Just two months. Just when they took you to, what, Hillcrest in, Bir yeah. in Birmingham? Uh-huh. And, uh, and uh, so if I'd have just kept going like I was going, uh, I would have been I would have been dead. There was a guy named Big Daddy down there who, who uh, liked you and Nancy. Yeah, and and we liked him, him, you know. And we were, and at first we didn't know that he was involved uh, he in had, all this mess. Was he a nightclub owner? I think so. Anyway, because he tried to help you and Nancy and Adina, they right. killed him. Right. Well, they killed him. This is this is a fascinating story. And, and, you, and to uh, get all of that, you're going to have to read the book. I have another tape I want to show you. And I'm going to play it because, George, it shows you at your worst to, to graphically illustrate what we're talking about that they'll find in the book. Right. And you... Or wild. It's very embarrassing, but it's the truth. That okay plan? That's the way the book is. It tells the truth. Okay plan? Sure. This is down I-65, just south of Nashville in 1982. Now, but you're not going to tell that. Wait a minute, Joe. Now, listen to me. I didn't know he's back there. He just pulls up. I ain't going to have you start no messing with him. Well, you got him to get away from him. All right. He, he ain't got nothing to do with I'm going to jail with you and where you going to go. All right. You're going to go with me, but you ain't going to mess with him, all right? Come on, now leave him alone. What the hell? I don't know, but I don't want to. What have I done? You are drunk. I want to I am not. Yes, you are. No, sir. I want to tell him to give you some tears. I want you to leave this man alone. Okay? No, you're going to leave him alone. Okay. He's going to leave you alone. We're going to go up there where he can't see it. Come on. You want to lock the car up? Yes. You don't want to lock the car up? No, you don't want to lock the car up. Oh. Okay. I don't want to lock the car up. I ain't got nothing. 